chemically cowed. You are in what? Tanzania, Mitindo House presents Style Moto Moto. How many times have you taken part in this? Um, this is my first time to participate. I'm hoping again when it starts up again next year, and I hope it grows strong, we do it. It was a very good crowd. I was very happy with the crowd. Um, also, like, definitely the way, I'm loving the way the industry is going right now. From the time that I was that I started off, which is about three years ago, till now, things are so different. The landscape is definitely different of the fashion world. Um, you can see that fashion is almost promoted by almost different industries, and especially the entertainment and the um, like. If you think of hotels, almost every hotel right now has some sort of fashion event that happens there, which is quite amazing to think of and to think of how many people are actually doing those fashion shows so meaning that even designers are increasing uh, we are trying to grow the industry as well by opening a fashion school which hopefully from there we'll be able to train people to so you're be... talking about fashion school you yes. as Kimi are opening a fashion school me as Naledi fashion house we're when 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 a when, when, when is that when, when is that well, going to happen it most probably will be next month Wow. So it is that close to opening. We've already been buying equipment, we already have a premises, uh, we're just making furniture and stuff like that for the students, we already have teachers, and um, the syllabus is ready, things are ready. So when you talk about school teachers and students, yes. what are you going to be doing? We're going to be teaching fashion, not fashion designers but fashion. So people who want to, who maybe um, work in tailoring in tailoring shops and they want to grow to become fashion designers or people who work in, in shops like let's say Mariado and they want to know how to be able to choose an outfit for a client and become their personal shopper then we teach them that, like how to look at skin color, that will suit, so what colors will suit that skin, the shape of the face, the shape of the body, how to shop for somebody. So those are things that we'll be teaching. Where, where is this, 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 uh, this skin school going to be? It's going to be located in just opposite Leaders Club. Wow. Yes. So very accessible, very easy to get there. Again, getting back to you, like, Amy, why yes. fashion? Why do you take this up? Why, why, why? I this? fell into fashion. I started doing fashion, uh, coordinating fashion shows for WAPI, the British Council Initiative Arts Festival. And from there, I used to make my own clothes just because when I used to live in England, I had money, enough money to buy whatever I wanted. But when I got back to Africa, I was now depending on my mom's support. So that way I had to find another way of being creative still getting to wear unique stuff. So I started making my own clothes. And from there, people liked them. So I'd go to Wapi dressed in a new outfit every time, and somebody would be like, hey, I like that. And from there, people started ordering clothes. So how do you see Kemi in 10 years from now? Uh, 10 years from now, Kemi should have a fashion empire. <laughs> uh, Kemi needs to be, I want Naledi Fashion House to be a brand that is well recognized, internationally recognized. And on top of that, I want to uh, help young designers to also jump onto that. So where, wherever my brand will be, I would like young designers to also join in so that we keep it fresh and we keep it you know, still <laughs> happening because sometimes it's harder to keep up with you know, like right now, designing for a 14-year-old may not be the same as designing for somebody who's like 30 or in their 20s. So if you keep bringing in new talent, then that way you're supporting the talent and you're also creating, you know, new stuff. Where does uh, Kemi draw her inspirations? I think the fabrics. The fabrics, definitely. Um, when you look at a Kitenke or you look at a Kanga, it sort of speaks to you. You sort of, you look at it and you're like, ah, oh, I can see this going there and that border going there. And depending on how, like especially our, our local Kanga, they have two different fabrics on it, you can say. So if you think the center part is beautiful, but maybe the border is not as good. So then you would do something different, but sometimes the border is good. So you have to just... This, the fabric definitely speaks to me. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> You're welcome. Asante, Sam. Asante.